I am Shillong has finally released the admission policy for its IPM program and in this video I am going to summarize all of it for you. So without any further ado, let's begin. Uh, so you can go on their website, check all the details there as well, but I'll just give you a brief summary of all the important pointers. First of all, in terms of the program structure, they're going to follow a BBA plus MBA program and not a BA plus MBA like I'm in the order. And that their BBA program is also, you know, similar to Bodhgaya and Jammu where it is a semester system and not a trimester system. So that is there. In terms of fee, that is where the biggest relaxation has been given for the first three years. The fee for the first three years comes to about, I think, 3,81,000 rupees per, you know, per year, which does not include your mess, which does not include any foreign exchange or any other immersion. But all of that put together, you know, just the fee component, including your accommodation, including your mess, should come to about, I would say, 13, 13.5 lakh rupees per an, uh, for the first three years. However, uh, you know, in terms of their MBA fee, because it says that, you know, MBA would be as per the prevailing fee at that time for MBA, which is also the case with other IAMs as well. The MBA fee of IAM Shillong is quite high. If you see over here, it comes to about 4,33,000 rupees per trimester. There are six trimesters in total. So if you look at it, the fee would then, you know, in that case, touch about 26 lakh rupees. And then you add for mess and everything, you know, provision for that. Then it goes to about, you know, 227 lakh, you know, something uh, rupees. So in that case, the total fee would still be about 40 lakh, but the first three years definitely are very economical, which should have been the case with other IAMs as well. So that is there. They also have need-based financial assistance. They will have that. They'll have scholarship for reserved students. All of those things are available over here. In terms of the admission process, I'll just quickly take you to the uh, you know, PDF that they have shared and share all the important pointers over here. In terms of eligibility, you need to be born on or after July 1, 2005. And if in case you come from SC, ST or DA category, which is PWD, you have to be born on or after 1 July 2000. In terms of 10th and 12th, minimum 60%, 10th and 12th. For SC, ST, DA, it is going to be 55%. Then one big important factor over here is that you need to have your, uh, you know, applied math or core math as a part of your class 11th and 12th curriculum. Only then you are eligible. Non-math students cannot unfortunately apply for IM Shillong. The entrances they are conduct, uh, you know, considering is going to be IP Matt Indoor, which was already told. Uh, in terms of how do you calculate your 60, you know, best five, uh, your uh, 10th and 12th percentage, you don't take your best five, you take the aggregate of all subjects irrespective of your board's regulation. That is also mentioned. Uh, the fee for form is 2000 or 1000, depending on the category you be, uh, belong to. There is going to be a personal interview, as was told earlier. And in that case, there will also be a sectional cutoff, just like I am in Gaur. So you need to have positive raw scores in all the three sections and a minimum uh, minimum mark in all the three sections uh, for you to be able to clear it, uh, you know, go to the interview stage. So that will be similar to how it is in the case of I am in Gaur. Uh, in terms of car reservation, there's only general EWS, SC, ST and PWD. There is no OBC reservation because, uh, you know, uh, because of the special status of the state of Meghalaya. So the OBC reservation does not apply over here. They have to, you know, conform to the general cutoffs. So that is there. PI will be conducted. Your weightage is 10% for 10th, 10% for 12th. 30% for IP mat and 50% for interview. So a very big weightage to the interview process. And I'm actually happy to see this because every IAM has a slightly different way of, you know, uh, selecting their students. For example, I'm indoor focuses a lot on their aptitude tests. Rota focuses more on their academics. Uh, Ranchi might focus a little more on in terms of the extra extracurriculars. And over here, you know, the overall focus seems to be on the personal interview or the personality that you are carrying. So at least, you know, regardless of which category you fall in, you have a great personality that you carry, you have great ECAs or you're very good in terms of aptitude, there is a college available for you. So, you know, I am very happy to see this and, you know, don't worry, uh, you know, once you clear the scores, this is something that you need to take care of at a later point in time and this, you know, will be taken care of. You don't have to worry. The number of seats as of now have not been told. So we're not sure kitna rahega should be in the range of 60 to 120. Uh, so we're yet to see any confirmation on that part. Uh, but that's about it in terms of, you know, the policy that was there. All the very best. And, you know, should we have any more update on the same program, we'll be there to let you know about it. Thank you so much. All the best and bye-bye.